And he said, what's that? That's, I want to do something. I didn't do it. Oh, I had yeah. nothing of that. He then tells me, and I said, well, do you think God's just going to give it to you? It's like transmutating something into something different. Choosing to create in the world when we bring this awareness with us, almost like a target, you know, like there's a big circle that's infinity. We picked a sunflower yesterday and I just had to share this, get a, get a picture of it. Good morning, Joe. Welcome to my word of wonderment. Tao creeps in and my mind wanders off. That's like you shares for those that can't see the chat. But... As Lewis Howes would say, now go out there and do something great by being infinite love, by directing your energy and your power to positive change. We scatter and sometimes, I know myself, I, I, I could sometimes scatter for like, when, when you're ready to come back, you can come back. You can go when you want to go. When you said that eight, nine months, I kind of got like a vision. Cannot just can't even bring myself to wake up any earlier than six. Real heart-centered conversation first thing in the morning. Heart-filled spaces rather than just getting distracted on the phone or whatever to whatever. But in between that, like if you're tuning into that appreciation, that love, get the key to the key in the ignition, let's go. We're talking about prisons and then brainwaves. Like that's that's what the beta brainwave state, you know, that chatter mind. Evan calls it, he calls it like the, the beta, the prison mind state. But like rich and wealthy man and like super successful, like they're tuned into, if you were to put like things on the head to measure the frequencies, yeah. they'd be in alpha or theta. So and like you can literally like shift into the theta and del delta and alpha just by slowing down the breath, you know. But yeah, we know when we're there because the the brain the mind's like no man. In a beta brain wave, I'm like, wait a sec, superconscious, where is my brain waves? And I'll just ask, you know, and I'll test. Please lower my brain waves to nine hertz. It's like change your thoughts and your world will change. But he, he didn't go proper into it. It was just like a little bonus thing. Oh yeah, I, I, there's so there's a state chart. I've been familiar with that for over twelve years now. When I remember to. I, and I catch it and I realize, wait a sec, I'm down in the lower frequency. And just please keep adjusting my frequency until it reaches 700. You know what I've, I've, I've done for the last like month or two, maybe even more? Like if we get what we think about most of the time, and then like like you're saying, what's reminded me of that is when you say you f when you forget and then when you remember. So yes. like a, a, little, a little hack to keep yourself like... And I've even got it so, like, rather than just an alarm, it's like I've got these training calls. So, like, literally training calls start every hour on my phone, like, with these, like, next-level reminders. Um, but even if you just want to keep it simple, <laughs> even if you just want to keep it simple and it's like, right, cool, what am I focusing on? What am I choosing? You know, just even putting a minute or two in that or even 30 seconds or even just getting the reminder. I've I've had it on for months now because I can't bother turning them all off. <laughs> when it comes to the hour... Like, about a minute or two before, I'll start getting thoughts of, like, appreciation and joy. And then my alarm will kick off. Do you know what I mean? So I'm, like, training my mind now. But that that's just just the hourly reminder. And it's just bringing you back. Come back to your heart center kind of thing. Yeah. Then the, the three levels is, like, how intense is the thoughts and feelings and imagination when you're thinking about it, yeah? How What's holding you back? What doubts have you got around that? Do you know what beliefs have you got around that choice that, that might not be lined up? Dissolve that bad boy and boom, rocket ship launch. <laughs> I was at gym yesterday, right? And everyone thinks, wow, Joe, you go to the gym all the time, man. You're so fit and healthy. But like, I tell them, like, look, I'm just in the steam room, man. I'm just in the steam room. That's all I'm doing, right? But like recently I'm thinking, you know what? I think I'm going to start moving my body a bit more. So, um, and I went yesterday, yeah. Oh man, he sorted me out good, you know. Because sometimes I just need a, a, like a kick up my ass, you know. And like going to that <laughs> class, feel feeling the energy from it, like feeling a lot, doing doing an all over body workout, and um, but I could just feel it raise my frequency, you know, rather than just being like, that's it, more more exercise. And then I had a right appetite yesterday. And I got I got this <laughs> neck I got this next level pizza. It didn't even fit in the oven. It was so big. Oh <laughs> yeah, it was good. Man. But like my appetite was back, you know, back with a vengeance. That's that's me too, Joe. Like I I was I went keto last year. 
my dad died in um, April and then I started eating like carbs like a maniac on a mission <laughs> and I'm already down to like 209 like I, I still have cravings but I'm like choosing not to act on them you know like the, that insatiable need to fill fill myself fill me up you know with with food and carbs and sugar and things that make me feel better like comfort food and whatnot hey I can still eat comfort food it's just mostly meat <laughs> meat and cheese and mm -hmm. fat you know, I I love hot dogs and hamburgers and chicken and you know I love it. So it's okay. I can I can eat like that and cheese and butter and you know it's tasty, it's yummy and it's satiating and I don't have to eat as much. And then I got time for other things because I'm not fixating and focusing on snacking and eating all day every day. Because <laughs> you know? that can be I'm not responding like I'd like to be. You know. What I mean? Like even some, yeah, just a little drama or whatever. Like sometimes I might not have no energy to even to even respond. But but um, but yeah, it's weird though, isn't it? Like because obviously I went went to gym and that. But then yeah, that that was proper comfort food that I got there. That carb. A buddy of mine started is doing push ups. Like he's like up to five hundred push ups a day. And I'm like, holy crap, man. <laughs> and and right. And then and it feels it's like, oh, like, oh, it's like it, there's a change. It's like it, we'll have to exert that energy. It's like there's a feeling of starting it that we avoid. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm just gonna mute and do my 20. And I wanna be right sometime, and he just told me he would do it. So I might exactly. as well. I'm like trying not to laugh while I'm doing <laughs> Thank you. Like your voice is just like slightly changed pitch. It's like it's not aching like it used to. It was always aching right between the shoulder blades. So, so let me let me change that phrase and say your back feels better. So the initial pain up front, right, of engaging and doing it, and then it's like there's benefits, compounding benefits, or strength, lack, lack of strength, lack of exercise. If you leave them just lying around, they'll rust up. But if you use them each day, will they rust up then? We see our avatars, but that is not a real reflection of what, what's going on because there's so much automatic processing that's happening when you're with people. We're not even aware of it. A model we've used here, Allison spoke to a model, and it's like ABC, ABC. It's as easy as that, ABC, because our mind is polar. Our mind, our thinking, our ego, our judgments, it's polar. What, keep, what keeps showing up? Those are patterns. Right. So you're aware of the frequency it means like the number of times it happens. I was at the point, Will, like like your pushups. Right. I was at a point it was like, ah, it seemed like something would, ha would have to hit hit my senses like five times before I'd pay attention. Yeah. And and did you see Joe said it's like, oh, he started to think about it before the alarm would go off. Yes, yeah. that's called practice. That's right. It's like you're, you're we are we we train we can train our being. So once we're aware, we can be, right, being. So aware you're being charged, right? Or you could say aware you're being choice. The charge, right? It's a charge. It's an energy. So what's the what's the charge of it? What's the intensity? Is it is it negatively really low, right? Or is it really high intensity? But rather when I'm judging. So it's aware when I'm judging. When am I judging? Because that's not what I want. Because I don't like the taste of it, right? Now, you got to put in your words. You got to put in your patterns, right? There's a difference. So the frequency, right? There's a difference in the intensity and the outcomes and the results. Every day for two hours. So in just seven days, like if you, in seven days, if you were to have a one hour meeting in seven days, right? 14 times practicing being whatever the coaching thing is. That's because he, like you said, he did it for nine months. So the four stages of learning, conscious competence, yeah, yes. that's when he's yes. doing it, he's practicing it, and this is the third stage where people move on to the next thing, right? New programs, new patterns. Let's rock this ship. Let's go. <laughs> exactly, that's it. Constantly coming back into the now, into the now, you know, yep. to to the breath, to your posture. He's smiling, like how you feeling? Like I'm talking to myself as well now. So but yeah, I don't necessarily come up with these cognitions and clarity myself when I'm by myself. Do you know, like when you're saying as well, we'll like 
being by yourself in the morning or coming on a call and tuning into this mastermind space because like that is also like the best way we can like learn stuff and because you are consciousness you can focus that consciousness and create miracles in your day to day you know even if there's only so so much time left in today you've got today to create a miracle and and it's just like yeah cool wow what you mean to you know um but like i've got i've got all the train i've got like loads of next level training on my phone um it's a lot louder than it normally would be so you just kind of adjust the the db level in the so yeah hey there's a little project i can do i can create fairly quick yeah boom send send me the sound man send me the sound yeah okay. that's your it. email or a number or anything i don't know if i got any of your deets <laughs> he's in the he's in the hard centered hard center group if we don't call it practice right we call it habits we call it automatics we call it patterns we call it addictions we call it whatever to our heart right um it was like i noticed how quickly i could follow you in tune so i can create those audios put them on an alarm every hour to go off exactly that's all we're doing is creating normal anchors and I think that's why this time of day, I, I just I wake up because I'm so excited to to be here with you guys and to have these conversations and to experience. Well, that so then those that's words that you'll use for you to get into that spot. Now, does that become does that become uh, putting power into something outside of yourself? I think could be. That is who. That's actually my true self. That's actually who I really am. That's. Remember, I, look, I don't like the fantasy, like the, the mystic words. It's woo. It's woo, woo, woo. Woo, 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 woo. But in Europe or in England, let's say, the siren is be do, be do, like be do. Wow, wow. We have wow, 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 wow. Like that's the cops are like, wow, wow, mm-hmm. wow, 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 wow. Fast. Best part we do also, but that's each time they are crossing the, what's it called? When it's a red light and they want to drive over it, then they put the fast one on. And so, so Will, I wonder, like I'm in wonder, <laughs> like I wonder why you came up with that. I don't know. It's just like, I, I like, I like. Like what's the importance for people in a weather report? Because people gather around and like, we all talk about the weather. A thousand dollars. Geez, I'm making, I'm, 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 you you like that, don't you, Heinz? Don't you, Heinz? But it is, I'm catching my own judgment. That's how I announce it. It's like, that's me. But then it forces you to put your, put your eyes like, oh, did I hear that? Do I have it in me? Because like, is it your, is it mine? Is it theirs or is it ours? It's always. And well-being, collective well-being, welfare, Mm. well-being. I don't know what's. That's what's awesome about having like other languages right other people with other it's like oh how they see it too and it's like oh it just adds perspective it's called diversity that automatically drives us apart that drives us into a fight it drives us into separation it's limiting but do it without yeah. that's our listening that's our listening without judgment it's a good space to practice uh, active listening but talking about the weather for crying out loud we're here to meditate <laughs> you know what's coming to me yeah do you know back way back in the day right when you used to do these calls <laughs> and like it was and you took it down from a five-step process into three you want it and it was like what do you want and that do you know it is i've I heard that from like another another source as well like and it, that is flipping that is a next level powerful thing to do you know literally like what do you choose you know bringing on that lightness you know, letting go of or to do anything as a process to everything and like but that that simple yet profound and and, and and you've gotta be looking for it, right? So there's like the there's a underlying willingness, which we call the willingness of dissatisfaction to keep it going the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. Looking at it, seeing it, just even just putting your awareness on it, your consciousness on it, what what the fears are or is there any evidence of that? Do you know what I mean, is that actually true? Is that old? Like, where'd that come from? Let that go, you know, because it's yeah. these unconscious uh, things like that you can bring up with the right kind of questions. That's tension. It's called creative tension. We yeah. just trained ourselves to avoid it because it's uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I was talking with Hyatt the other day, you know, this this meeting is it's like a journaling, you know, and 
instead of writing it down, we, we speak with each other and then it's all recorded. You know? We always go back, you know. And... Call, there's quite a lot of calls, but like, yeah, you could like basically just transcribe it all. So that's 14 hours a week times 52 a year. And then if you multiply that by, on average, let's say there's five people. I mean, if 14 seconds of focus thoughts equivalent to... We don't even, we, we, we can't even, like, I can't put it into my math, right? But, it, but I just know that it expands, right? It, like, compounds. And it's like, oh, like, yeah, 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 good, right? Good. That's good. That's good. The energy of infinite, the in, infinite energy of the blank slate. Uh, and it's like, uh, uh, Joe, thanks for the reminder of bringing back to the structure of three. It's like, mm. if I was to redo my formula today, because that's part of like, as you work it, it reformulates. A structure of that is like, as we get, we gather as we are, as it is. So in mm. that moment, the present moment, we are gathering, we are coming together and gathering to who we are, to our divinity, to our greatness, to our genius. Like we're all gathering yeah. around a campfire as that, right? From the dominating yeah. ego. We could assume we're all yeah. joining as a dominating ego. So it's like our work is to break through. So we gather and break through. Break through what? Break through to our heart. So it's got the ego mind that we came in with, and then we have a heart that's speaking to us that we can't really hear hey that's the, the longest passage to pass from our mind to our heart so every morning we are opening up the deepest point of possibility that we can start from Beautiful. there's a great quote there's a great quote but here my point was is never for me to go back to it it was always like ah, oh, somebody will find a great project in that i just patiently wait around until someone makes a good offer like you're putting money to it i like it i like your i like it i like the way this offer starting Try to keep my dad's humor alive. Is mm -hmm. I, I was just thinking how good you are of sucking people into that. So I was just like, oh, look at me being sucked into it. <laughs> yeah, and I was just aware. I didn't have to judge it. I was just aware, and I don't have to tell you about everything I'm aware of. <laughs> we don't like to force things in. We like when they just go in easy. It, it, it's like a, a again. It's like a, a breakthroughs happen by us speaking it out loud. Right. So that's like, think of that in the background. It's like my breakthroughs happen as I speak it into existence. So if we look at all the other like coaching programs, who is getting all the breakthroughs? It's like you, you're, you're serving and you're giving. And yet when you give, you actually receive. The client gives more than what the coach does, which is true because the client has to pay as well. It's like, that, but you see how it's, uh, it's, it's unsatisfactory either way. So it's an unresolvable loop. And that's why, because it's the tension between making money and serving people. That's where coaches get stuck. They, they, you end up, you end up behind one of those rocks and get run over because it's an unresolvable structure. Even people that talk about structure don't see their structure.